Cooking with Chloe is the show where you get to cook with Chloe. Hello, today I'm here to teach you how to make an egg. So um, I'm just going to show you the ingredients. Today is tutorial week, so we're all doing tutorials on the channel. Um, and to make an egg, you need a bowl of some sort, any kind of size or shape. We don't discriminate in the spoon. And you're also going to need some chocolate syrup and some whipped cream and a marshmallow, only one. Else it'll be like way too sour. And almond abstract and some peanut butter. And then you also need some poultry gravy because that's like the neighbor to the chicken. So it needs to like taste like a chicken or else it won't be eggs. And some pumpkin pie spice. And so first, just set it aside. First, what you're gonna want to do is you want to apply the base, and the base is the poultry gravy. So and just fill it up to like whatever you feel is right. After that, and then you are just going to want to take your um, your almond abstract, um, which you can get at like all the places that you want. And I just uh, put that in the thing, and then oh, there we go. That's a lot. Um, and then you just like put in. Oh, that smells really good. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, that smells amazing. Okay, uh, so you can just lightly mix that. And, um, we're gonna keep up with the brown colors with this peanut butter. I wanna get things in the peanut butter that don't smell good. And just put that over there. Uh, good things out of the spoon. You can just put the spoon and wash. And then you mix that around. So, so far, we have put in our peanut butter, our almond abstract, and our poultry gravy for chicken and turkey. And we are still, now it's a little bit clunkier. Mm, that, that, that smells delicious. That's nice brown. It's like a poopy brown color. Oh, that is a very poopy sort of thing uh, there. We have a lot of brown things. But we still, we don't discriminate. Just put in some chocolate syrup. Any, and again, just as with the poultry mix, you just put in however much feels right to you. Because I want these eggs that you're making to reflect kind of your personality and what you like in different things. And the almond really adds a great smell to it. Um, what does it smell like? Like a little almond. Oh, that smells delicious. I could just take a bath in that and wear it to school as a cologne and then now we're at that uh we it's another kind of oh got that all over my finger there um now this is a still sort of a poopy color it's just not um as clunky as poop is but it's uh it's a good poopy color there very delicious um delicious very good and now you're gonna put in the pumpkin pie spice and just shake that in. Again, you just wanna, however much you feel is right. And that smells like, that smells great. That's what it smells like Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving is a holiday. It smells different. Um, it's a different kind of smell. The color is still sort of a poopy brown, but not, this is a little more poopy than it was before. We added the light colors. Okay, and now this is my favorite part absolute favorite part of this whole tutorial is the whipped cream. Now let's put that in. Nice and good there. I just like putting it in on top and I like to pile it up. So it's a lot of whipped cream there. And then once you mix it in together, it really gets like way, way, way more fluffier. Because whipped cream, as you know, is a very fluffy substance. It's on the pediatric table of fluff. So like it's in the fluff serum. Um, so it's a very fluffy thing. And then at this point, because of all of the fluff, 
it kind of um, ruins the texture to be honest. So I like to add a little more of the mix, like a little bit of salt, just a tiny bit. Oh, that is the most beautiful thing. Oh, and the almond extract. Let's add more almond extract because that just the smell just is beautiful. I can't even stand it. It's so good. You want to go to your market store and you want to get as much almond extract as you can and you want to sniff it all day. Um, you want to add in some sugar. Just keep going until your heart says it. And maybe you want to sing a song while you're doing it. Okay, just look at that nice, nice color there. I'm just loving this. Um, so then, how does it smell? Mm, this smells really great. So then um, I just like taking my marshmallow and putting it in tiny little pieces. Many little pieces. All right, so once you have your marshmallow in many different pieces, just like I'm doing it right here. Then you want to sprinkle it all in your eggs. All in. And then mix, 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 So today, I'm just going to show you like how to get more of a consistency by adding flour. I think that this works because I haven't really done it before. But flour is like a thick thing, so it just seems like the type of thing that you would use. Okay, so now as I'm mixing it, I can really see that there's more of a thicker consistency and the marshmallow bits are kind of getting in the way. But that's okay, because that adds more of a flavor, the marshmallows. So, I think that's about it. And this is a really great thing to make if you're having guests over or if you're just bored and you feel like a snack or just an after school thing or maybe even to feed to your children or your little brother or sister or your pets or anything. This can be used for anything um, because eggs are very good. They're high in protein. And okay, so here is the final product this egg soupy and you can cook it if you want to if you want to like maybe start a fire I'm not sure I don't really know if that can start a fire or anything cook it if you want cook it at like 350 degrees for like two hours or three hours to get like a nice charred taste all right so here's how you make eggs and I know what you're thinking that this doesn't really it doesn't really look like the normal kinds of eggs that you would normally find but um the thing is that why do they even have to look like that because here we don't discriminate so we can make these eggs look like anything that we want to as they even taste like eggs so um now we're gonna try it and i'm very excited to see this new taste um so here we go i'm, I'm super excited for this because it's just okay i can't I can't wait to get this nice thing. I, oh, I'm so excited about this. Let's just take a big bite. Oh, mm. so It tastes like eggs. Okay, so on my phone, my camera ran out of battery. It's there, um, on there. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that. I ate it and it tastes very, it's an interesting taste actually. Um, I would eat it just on a Sunday morning if I'm very hungry. It's on my face. Um, I, I spit it out in the sink because it, the taste was overwhelmingly good. Mm. Mm. <coughs> Too much almond. Too much, okay. So let me give you a little tip, the tip of the day for cooking. Cooking tip of the day is that even if it smells good, that doesn't mean it tastes good, and almonds taste actually terrible, so. 
Um, but I hope you like my cooking show, and I hope you'll join me next time, and check out Julia tomorrow for Wednesday. Um, I hope you like this video, and I love you all.